and welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to do this video today. I did one like this last year whenever we lived in our old house and I don't know what it is but our, my coffee bar area of my house is the, probably the most fun thing for me to decorate. And I got a lot of really fun supplies that I'm going to show you here in a second. But I am doing this video in collaboration with Lynn White. If you guys don't follow her or are not subscribed to her, you definitely should be. She has actually become one of my closest friends. We video chat all the time. And she just is like the sweetest person. She has gone on her own journey that God has brought her through and I don't know her soul just blesses me she encourages me so often and anyways she is going to be doing a hot chocolate bar as well so be sure to check out her link in the description box whenever you're done watching this one her content is super similar to mine she's got four children she does a lot of home decor and cleaning motivation all of those great things in fact recently whenever I did a lot of painting in our house she was also doing a lot of painting in her house so we were calling each other and you know all of our woes about how sore we were from painting and <laughs> all of that so a lot of very similar content so I hope that you go watch her video whenever you're done watching this one. Before we get started, I'm actually going to show you the new things that I picked up and then whenever we're all finished, you'll be able to pick out what was new and then what I had from last year or things that I incorporated. And obviously this is a new house, so I'm doing things a little differently, but yet some things the same as last year. So um, let's go ahead and I'll show you my little haul. If you hear anything in the background, it's just the girls playing, but, um, and it's raining outside, so it's kind of a cozy fun day to make a hot chocolate bar. <laughs> Um, but if you see a shadows and lighting changes, that's why. So this is a mixture of some things from Target and then some things from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby this year just had so much stuff. So much stuff. Oh, and before I get too far, you guys have to see, for those of you that ha didn't catch the last couple videos, I got our dining room really pulled together. What I picked up is I'm going to do use the big two-tier tray, I'll show you in a second, um, that I used last year on for the hot chocolate bar. So I'm doing kind of two separate areas. I'm doing my hot chocolate bar separate from my coffee bar, and you'll see why once we go out in the kitchen. For my two-tiered tray, I needed some little lights so I ended up getting two different packs instead of doing one pack and trying to string them from one and you know one tier of the tray to the other I decided to go ahead and just get two smaller strings of them these are the batteries for them and then this stuff is all from Hobby Lobby here um, and then this stuff over here was from Target oh and uh, yeah I'll explain the trays okay so I grabbed these I thought they would be super cute hanging off of my tray I'm not sure how I'm gonna hang them on there I really need some little s hooks but I don't have any right now so I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna hang them but I have a vision so we'll see how it comes together today and then these were super inexpensive I think they were both like uh, around a dollar or something like that and as you can see I'm gonna be pulling in reds into my kitchen just for Christmas time um, I generally do a lot of neutral colors but I just thought it would be fun for my coffee bar and hot chocolate bar to pull in the reds so these were also super inexpensive at Hobby Lobby very very cute and I think my daughters can actually drink like hot chocolate out of them they seem pretty sturdy and like they wouldn't get burn their fingers or anything like that um, um, and I have a cute little idea for these and then I wanted to pull in some little trees into my coffee bar section so these are actually from Hobby Lobby but I wanted to find more of them and I couldn't literally that one and these three were the last of this color they have a little bit of a glitter to them really really cute and no matter the theme I go with next year of course I can use them again and then these two are actually from the Target dollar section I thought they would go well and I was pretty impressed at how similar the bottom looks to those so I thought that they would work good this candle smells so good it's also from Hobby Lobby they had some other ones that were like um, I'm not sure a red one and a and maybe a, a one that said something about cocoa on it but again thought it would be cute with the red theme I got these one of them I will put into the coffee bar and the other one into the hot chocolate bar these are actually from Target I wanted to get some napkins to add to the whole works and then I was looking for stir sticks and couldn't really 
find them. But Hobby Lobby had these 50% um, off and they were like, I think they're supposed to be for cake pops, but they'll work good for stir sticks. Something else I'm going to be using in all of this is some mason jars just to hold things and store things because I've got a lot of them. And then um, these were things I picked up. Okay story behind this is I got these literally just for the hot chocolate bar but my daughters wanted some so badly so I opened them up and gave them each a few so these are just normal marshmallows they just have they're just in fun shapes and then these are actually peppermint marshmallows which yum and hot chocolate I'm a peppermint person so love that and then I just got a big container of um regular just like a milk hot chocolate from Nestle and a big pack of candy canes to tuck in everywhere. That is everything that I'm gonna be using. Let's head out in the kitchen and I will show you um, kind of some other things that I have out there. If you've never been here before, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> um, it feels kind of cozy in here on this rainy day. So this here is where I'm going to do my hot chocolate bar. We do have our tree up over there. I had had that little like greenhouse, hot house kind of thing right there um, over here on the top of this but decided to change things up for the holidays and I got out my this big tray so I'm going to be using this this is where I was saying I can hang my mugs off of I'm not sure how it's all gonna work I had some extra odds and ends here that from decorating a lot of other things I just kind of threw here like um, this I had done a waffle bar inspiration and this was a part of that and I've also got some crushed up candy canes so I might put that somehow into some jars over here and there's an extra candle and just odds and end greenery so I do need to kind of <laughs> figure out how yeah I need to take everything out of it whenever I get started here okay then over here I've already got out my peppermint uh, Mrs. Myers I love all three of the holiday scents there is a green one and an orange one and I love all three of them but I decided since I'm doing some reds in my kitchen to use the peppermint one this season and um, over here is is my coffee bar area and I kind of had done a transition look here um, just doing some touches of winter and we're from Pennsylvania but we live in North Carolina so now I want to go through and add in the things that I showed you and I don't know if I'll move things around I kind of like the setup of it right now so I think I'm just gonna add in my touches of red and my Christmassy stuff and since it is a little rainy and dreary today you might see the lighting change up a little bit I have some lights up here I'm probably gonna turn on so I can see a little better <laughs> while I'm decorating. It's all finished up. I'm so happy with how this looks. Um, I'm sure I'll be like adjusting pieces of greenery for the next couple days. <laughs> 
Um, anyways, but I love how this looks. It worked out so well. And I love the adding red and a little bit of red into my kitchen. I don't know. It just seems so cozy and so fun. I just need to get some different hooks for this so that they're a little bit easier to just put on and off and we can actually use the cups. And so this is, yes, hot chocolate station. Very happy with that. And over here, we've got the coffee bar. And I'm so thrilled with this. It struck me all of a sudden that I had this little base and I could put this together. Sometimes it takes me a while to kind of like figure out exactly what I want. Oh my goodness, I can smell that candle. It smells so good. It's like a vanilla like warm scented candle. Ooh, I might have to go get another one. It was really inexpensive at Hobby Lobby. And um, so in here I store my regular coffee and decaf coffee. And then I keep like my f other flavored coffees in the pantry. And I can't link this coffee maker. I get questions about it, but it's like very old. It's from when we first got married and it's not, um, linkable with the brand doesn't even make it anymore but very happy with how this all is it's just going to be so fun and my daughters have been playing back in their room and they've been waiting for me to get done doing this so that i can make them up some hot chocolate in one of these little cups so absolutely happy with how this turned out and i feel like in some sense this could definitely transition into like valentine's day so i don't know i may do that um but you guys know me I change stuff up so much and I'm constantly doing something so I'm sure by then things will be changed and whatnot but very happy with it if you guys have never seen my coffee bar before a couple essentials that I keep around are like cocoa like just cocoa powder and cinnamon and then that is stevia back there this is my fabulous Amazon stir um frother and it works so good i've had other frothers and this one has been the best so far and i like that it has a stand and it comes in a bunch of different colors and um, these birds my mom actually gave me one year for christmas she usually gives me a little bit of christmas decor like on christmas day or when we celebrate christmas day so i have random little things around my house that are from her which are so special to me um and then the big cutting board is from ikea that is from from Hobby Lobby as well um, these are an Amazon um, canister and yeah I think that's everything so so happy with how this all looks and I think it's gonna be something that we're gonna enjoy through this holiday season so again if you're new here I'd love it if you subscribed and hung around and yeah today was just the perfect day to do this I debated about it because obviously the lighting is not like on point perfect but it was rainy outside and just like kind of made it fun to make it even more cozy in my kitchen right now so I had so much fun doing it and I've been like anticipating doing this like I said it's my favorite thing to decorate probably because there's so many little details and you can find all these little fun things to add in but I'm so glad that it's done now and don't forget to check out Lynn's video for some inspiration as well and I think I'll just wrap this up if you guys are new here don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments if you liked the hot chocolate bar or the coffee bar better and I will see you guys in my next video